Good morning, Steve Aoki. Thank you very much for having a chat with us. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be back in Dubai. You have no idea. Um, Because you've been here quite a few times. Do you, do you love it over here? I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite places in the world. I always call it the adult playground. Yeah. It's always some fun activity. And every time I come out here, I always meet like amazing, generous, like <laughs> hospitable people that show me all these different things that you could only do in Dubai. It's just absolutely breathtaking out here. And have you got a little bit of time to do a little bit more exploring this time around, or are you in and out? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, yesterday I, I spent the whole day doing all kinds of fun stuff. Um, but I've, I actually do have a good group of friends out here now. So um, uh, I've been seeing tons of friends. And, and today I got, all, you know, some other activities lined up that I'll be doing. So, I mean, there's, like, there's no room for me to be in a hotel. You know, I, I want to be out seeing everything. That's amazing, and that's the best way to do it here in Dubai. Um, so, you are playing Gotha tonight. We're really looking forward to that. We can't wait, and hopefully we're going to see you on the red carpet as well. You've won multiple awards for your music. You've topped charts all over the world. You've directed documentaries. You've appeared in video games. You've got your own clothing line. What is next for Steve Aoki? Music is always the next frontier for me. You know, it's always about bridging genres for me i love doing that and i've been doing that a lot lately uh with k-pop bts and and the latin market and the, and latin artists like daddy yankee with asukita and uh my my next production with nikki jam and and uh, and also neon future three the third chapter to my neon future trilogy will be dropping and that's a multi-genre collaborative project and i'm very excited to be launching that and I'll be slicing off an, a single this month uh, that's going to be a massive record, and I really hope you guys can support it. It's my song with AJR and Lil Yachty called Pretender, and um, I'll definitely give you guys the heads up uh, before it comes out, So, because um, uh, I definitely need all my Dubai fans to... Uh, to hear and support uh, my new music. Of which you've got loads, and we will 100% support that. I cannot wait to get my hands on that and get it on the radio. Yeah, so we, we were going to talk about your new track with Daddy Yankee. I mean, you when we met you in Tomorrowland, you were saying you always like to, to do different genres. I mean, you look, uh, worked with Louis Tomlinson before as well. Um, is there yeah. any genre that you know you haven't touched yet that you really want to? Um, there, I mean, there are a few genres that I'm, I'm always looking through the world. Uh, the world lens, and uh, luckily, as you know, since I get a tour so much, I I really get to meet other artists and producers in different places. And um, I just was got out of the studio with uh, an Argentinian uh, with some Argentinian music that I, I'm excited about uh, doing collaborations with. More Latin music is on the horizon, um, and also my uh, my track with BTS, my new song with BTS, will be dropping this month as well. So um, the follow-up to Mic Drop, that'll be uh, coming out. So all the BTS fans there, I mean, they're just, they're incredible. They're absolutely incredible. So lots, lots of, uh, uh, you know, continuation of, of the genres I've been building in. Um, and, uh, and also another big banger I'll be dropping with uh, Marnik, these Italian producers uh, I worked with before and really good friends of mine. We're doing a, um, uh, we're sampling an old Italian ballad. And oh wow, <laughs> that sounds wicked! I rave drop uh, with the super high rave drop. So, I love being able to like you know go back into the archives of history and and bring back some uh, you know the old the classics. Yeah, absolutely. Um, could you would you possibly be open to perhaps an Arabic style uh, track? Like you know, there's the, maybe maybe a little bit of Arabic influence. Uh, absolutely, I would love to, and. Um, and that's another thing that I like to try to do is explore the musical cultures, you know, as I'm going through and um, visiting all these amazing places. I want to meet up with the producers. I want to meet up with some of the artists that are, um, that are uh, you know, just uh, uh, breaking, breaking the envelope or, like, you know, move, moving the needle out here. So if you guys can give me some advice on who I should be linking up with out here, um, 
please send the details my way. We have got so many incredible artists that have been featured on Dance FM that um, that would absolutely die. They'd chew off their arms to work with you, which wouldn't make them particularly useful in the studio. But um, they would definitely <laughs> they would definitely want to work with you. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, definitely send send it to my team, and um, we can link up or send them to my show tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely, we, we we will be there anyway, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of uh, lots of the producers that are on Dance FM that will be down there as well, front and center. So, Steve, what's the highlight of your 2018 so far? The highlight of 2018 so far, um, you know, I'm I'm doing two major projects that I that I'm both almost finished with. One is Neon Future Three, which I've been talking about. Uh, I spent a month in my studio. I didn't. I didn't leave my house. Um, and I'm also finishing my book. I'm writing a memoir. So that those are like two two big projects that that um, took up a lot of my time. I mean, yeah, Future Three took years. And same with the memoir. It's been taking years to write this, and I'm finally at the uh, at, at the finish line. So uh, yeah, those are like the big highlights for me. I'm looking forward to that. That's amazing. So we can add author to your uh, to your list of, um, of of things that you've done, which is quite incredible. Um, before we let you go and get on with whatever it is you've got to do to prepare for tonight, I'd just like to ask a quick question that came through from our listeners. Um, they wanted to know, most of the people that we asked said, where did the cake throw come from? Where did that originate? <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's, I, I talk about it in detail in my book. Ah, right. <laughs> That's the best way to do uh, this. <laughs> but you know, in a nutshell, you know, because I, you know, I want to give you guys a little, you know, a little morsel of what of what it's all about. Um, it, uh, to, to put it plainly, you know, I'm always thinking of things that will make my show more unique. You know, like it's like, and sometimes the silliest concepts are the ones that are the stickiest. And no pun intended here. With the <laughs> You know, so uh, it's just, it, you know, you just do trial and error. You try different things. And and my show is interactive. My show is like, I, I want to interact with my fans. I want to interact with the crowd. And however way I can, I, that's, I'm that's i going to always try and, and, and uh, challenge and, and, and try new things with the crowd. And um, some things work, some, some things don't. And this one works. Um, I've got my my producer Joe, who's doing the interview with me here. He's um, he's absolutely smitten. He's one of the biggest fans um, of your. Like, honestly, I can't even begin to tell you. He was almost too scared to ask questions on the interview today. That's how much he loves you. Um, oh. we, we were wondering whether we could have uh, a little on a small scale on the red carpet tomorrow. Could we do a little me versus you cupcake throwing challenge? And we'll use producer Joe as the target. It would make his year. Okay, you know what? I'm going to tell you that I've had to switch to my non-dominant arm. Oh, okay. Uh, I got uh, I got shoulder surgery on my on my uh, left shoulder. I'm left-handed, so I uh, I he might beat me on the cake throwing con- the contest, but I'll do it. I mean, it's I'm still I got to warm up my uh, my right arm. Okay, well I'll tell you what. I will use my left hand. You use your non-dominant hand, and we'll make Joe the target. All right, let's do it. (laughs) We can't wait for your performance at Gotha. It's going to be absolutely incredible. We'll be front and centre and we'll see you on the red carpet. Um, Make sure you get yourself down if you're anywhere in the area, even if you're not, even if you're coming from Saudi. Come and see Steve Aoki at Gotha. Steve, thank you very much for chatting to us today. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you tonight. All right.